James Colby. How, How are goes. you, my friend? Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Uh, happy to see you. Yeah, yeah. No, I've been uh, off the comedy stages, unfortunately. I, I had enough of the uh, you know cane around the neck dragging me off. Yeah, well, mine, <laughs> mine, uh, yeah, mine forces me to get out of the house from time to time. So you know, got to do what you got to do. <laughs> So the uh, the pivot show. The, how long you been doing this uh, this show regularly now? It's been a while. Uh, this will be our one year anniversary show on June twenty fifth. So it's a, a monthly show at Pivot Brewing. Monthly show, free to attend. Uh, this month, uh, we for our one year anniversary show, we are going to have Stuart Huff, Danny Hux, and John Bass on this one. Very cool. And so it's a, uh, you say Tuesday, the 25th of June. Yep. 7 p.m. What time does that start? Free Pivot Brew. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, it's a great place. I've unfortunately only managed to make it to one. I'll try like crazy to make it to the next one, but uh, it's always a good time. And uh, and so what uh, what what are you, Steve, you have some local, you have some regional that that's kind of the whole idea you're kind of pulling all this together for the show is that right yeah yeah uh Stuart huff he's originally from kentucky uh he's based out of uh georgia now um brilliant comic known him for many years uh uh is one of the one of the smartest people i've ever talked talked to um he's been doing it for years uh uh old school road hog uh and used to write for Adult Swim for a while. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, got some good credentials. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he, yeah. he's fantastic. And then we got Danny Hux on the show. He's out of uh, Louisville. Uh, he's he's done one of our shows before at Pivot. Uh, one of our Lex Out Loud shows. He's he's fantastic. Uh, and then we've got John Bass. He's out of Lexington. He produces the uh, Don't Tell comedy series here in Lexington, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and John and I have been trying to connect on one of these so I can get the, the Don't Tell promoted as well. Because even though I'm not out there doing as much stage work as I was doing, I want to do as much of this for the comedians that I possibly can and the, the local comic scene. Because it, it's there's a lot going on still. There's a ton going on. You, you guys are still doing the late night mic at Timmy Two Times, I understand. Yep, yep. Uh, Ten o'clock uh, show yep. time. Nine thirty sign ups, or when I when I get there, sign ups. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was not- forcing myself several times to stay up late and do that, but man, you know, I, I get up at four a.m. So it's a yep. it's a tough night. That's a late night. Yeah. On a Monday. Yeah. yeah that's, hence the hence the term late Mike. You know. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's a, what I love about that, Mike, is that it's a beautiful, safe space for anybody to do anything they want to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yes, they can. <laughs> yeah, go go as as far into the world of uh, extreme comedy. How about yeah. that? Yeah, it, uh, experiment, it's experiment. Throw it out there. See what happens. Right. Yeah, it gets a little blue, that is to say, it gets kind of dirty, it gets kind of dark at times. Um, it's a good place to flesh out ideas, because if you can make it work in a room full of just cynical, bitter comedians, then uh, yeah. it, has, it has a chance of yeah. <laughs> going yeah. on. A- I've managed to, I think I've cracked a smile on a face or two there, it's about as far as I could get. Yeah. No, we'd love to have you, man, love to have you. It's fun. I need to uh, I try to get back out at some point. It's whew, everything going on. You know what it is? Life. I feel it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So what now? Wh- when are you performing next? Because I know you do the, the mic thing, but was there a chance for us to come out and see one of your sets? Um, I'm doing the mic. Uh, um, actually, uh, June uh, uh, 15th. Is it the 15th? I should June know. 15th. All right. Uh, June fifth. Yeah, June fifteenth at. Uh, All right, you've, you've gone away for a moment, so it, we, we've we've lost you while you're looking at your calendar. Hey, wait, wait, you're back now. Okay, so June fifteenth, you confirmed that. June fifteenth, uh, Sig Lusher, Ben Mackin, uh, another comic here in the Lexington area in Frankfurt. Sig Lusher, 
I think is the name of the brewery. Uh, we're doing a show there, uh, free to attend. It's me, John Bass, again, uh, uh, and Daniel Warnall, and I know I'm forgetting somebody, so forgive me that I am. But <laughs> and and Sig Lusher is what it's called. Is I, I believe that's what it's called. Um, All right. Well, we'll yeah. confirm that. We'll look at that. Yeah, uh, I'd heard of that. So it's a, a brewery there in Frankfurt. Yeah. Brewery uh, in Frankfurt. Um, yeah, uh, free show uh, on the fifteenth, Saturday the fifteenth, and then Saturday night. That's awesome. Then a, a couple things that I'm I'm waiting to confirm uh, as far as dates go, but it's I kind of. Uh, been producing the Lex Out Loud series for for a year now, and mm-hmm. I I enjoy the production side of things quite a bit. You know, uh, mm-hmm. talked to a friend a while ago, and you know I've been doing comedy for uh, long enough to be embarrassed by how many <laughs> years I say I've been doing it. And a friend of mine said, "Well, you know, about that long. It, that's when most comics hit their stride, you know." And I said. Yeah, I know. That's why I started producing. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm back in music, right? Yeah. Sometimes you, you got you got to go with your strengths, right? You got to got to know what you're good at and where you can where you can really get the traction. So, but yeah, hey, people need uh, every show needs a good producer, right? It needs somebody who can put it together and make it happen. And unfortunately, most people want to be on stage, whether they should be or not. Now you've got great material. You're, you're a funny dude. You're a great comedian, but you you uh if you found what the the thing is i've discovered is it's got to be what you love i love being on stages i love performing i'm i'm a better musician probably than i am anything maybe i'm a better radio guy than i am anything but it's still not you know i don't get the interaction of of being on stage with uh when i'm behind the mic at the radio station so it's a little bit different for me so i gotta get my fix somehow yeah but i mean i i still I still encourage uh, people to uh, try as many things as they want. Like, come out to the open mic, and give it a shot. You know, like uh, every mm-hmm. I've had had the conversation with people so many times of like, oh man, I could never do it. Like, yeah, you can. Just pick up the microphone and uh, embarrass yourself. I do it every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and 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 that's really what it's about. You got to get out there, and if you've got the inclination, if you've got an urge the very least you can do for yourself is to try it. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, uh, I, I played music myself for a while. That didn't, that didn't, uh, work out as well. Um, and then, you know, try it. Then I started doing comedy and the weird thing is, you know, like I got laid doing comedy far more than music ever got me laid. So, wow. Yeah, that's insane. But of course, you found uh, you found you found the the, the niche. <laughs> I was often a bass player, though, so that might explain it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, bass players, good luck, right? <laughs> Sorry about my crazy dog. Yeah, so, uh, so the go. pivot show on June twenty fifth, right? Tuesday, June twenty fifth. June twenty fifth, Tuesday, seven p.m. Free pivot brewing. And then uh, ahead of that on the 15th in Frankfurt, we'll be uh, able to see you guys, see you perform, and at least uh, a few other local acts there as well. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Sig Lusher in Frankfurt on the 15th. Um, and then we also, uh, as far as comedy scene in Lexington goes, we do have some others putting on shows as well. Uh Big Dumb Chris uh, has been uh, putting shows together at Twisted Cork. Uh, those are a lot mm-hmm. of fun. Uh, I know James Andrews has been putting them together at uh, Cosmic Fry recently. And then you got John Bass doing the Don't Tell comedy series. It's, I think stand-up comedy is kind of in a sort of a renaissance of sorts right now. It's almost like it's almost like a, kind of an indie rock scene in a way. Yeah. Like you have your you have some dedicated people that are coming out to the shows and have a taste for it like no this isn't stuff you're gonna hear on necessarily on uh network tv or anything (laughs) and a lot of it you probably don't want on network tv no no never never never, there's not a place for it that's what's cool about the underground concept right i mean it really is it really is again is that very 
indie, gritty, uh, almost the best kept secret concept because there's so much going on that people really don't know about. And there's a lot of, I would say, uh, experimental, edgy, amazing stuff that's happening with, with, with comedy that, that people don't even, they, they don't know that's out there. So the more we can do to get it out there, the better, because uh, this is the, I'm being, I'm being mauled by dogs as I speak. It never, never fails. I, it, what it is is that I never sit down, right? So when I sit down, they think it's, it's their time just to get all over me. But yeah, man. <laughs> this is this is comedy in and of, this is comedy in and of itself. It's, it's oh, called little guy. Dog dog mauling. Yeah. This is this is the guy that uh is the instigator, I think. He's oh. he's the tiniest of, of the three, but he's the, the most uh vicious. He's well, dangerous. It's, it's just the mastermind concept, you know, like super Exactly. It's always the little one commands the big guys around, you know. Right. Right. Exactly. He's got it. Hey, James, great seeing you, man. Great talking to you. I'm definitely yeah. going to get out there uh, at one of these shows, do the best I can. Uh, Tuesdays are easier for me than uh, than Saturday sometime, but I, I might have that, uh, that that date on the 15th open. I'd love to come check that one out, so we'll see what yeah, I can do. And then um, Livewire Entertainment, um, uh, the production company I work for uh, that produces the Lex Out Loud series, uh, we do have a lot of events uh, coming up. Uh, on the second and fourth Monday of every month, we have karaoke at District Seven over in the Distillery District. First and oh, third, well, okay. yeah, first and third Monday, uh, free to play bingo at Pivot. Uh, we run karaoke at Cocktails on Wednesday nights uh, weekly, uh, and at Malibu Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we have sound off music trivia, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I'm there on Sunday nights at Rolling Oven, hosting in for sales and uh hosting sound off trivia and then we've got uh mirror twin on sundays at, uh music trivia and thursday night uh music trivia at pivot uh so got You're a lot busy, dude. all of those things are free to attend and participate and yeah it's all it's all a great time that's awesome well a lot of stuff going on absolutely well, thank you so much for having me on and uh, letting me shamelessly self-promote. That's what it's about, my friend. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, promote, promote your pants off. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, no one wants to see that, but, you know. Well, no one sees us from the, the waist down, so who, who knows? We may not be wearing pants. I know. I am commando back here, man. <laughs> <laughs>